Hey, Coach Storms. It's Lisa Murray Hua. I just wanted to say congratulations. Um, you have been a wonderful role model for me growing up, and I can't thank you enough. And to, wanted to let you know how much you mean to me and my family. Um, you've always been there for me through trying to teach me how to swim, through educating me through American history, learning how to write, and in the pool in high school. I just can't tell you enough how much. Uh, my family and I appreciate everything you've done for us. I still remember the time where you came to my birthday party as a little kid and my mom was trying to let me down easy saying it's probably not going to happen. He's so busy and yet you showed up. So that's just representative of the times you've always been there for me when I needed to growing up. So I wish you the best in retirement and um, I hope our paths come across each other soon. Thanks. Hi Coach, Scott Currents. Congratulations on your retirement. Hope you're able to enjoy many fantastic vacations to fabulous destinations and not have to worry about coming back to work. Certainly many life lessons that you gave me both in the pool and in the classroom. I think the one that sticks out the most for me, and I can still hear your voice saying it today, is let's use today as an opportunity to get a little bit better for tomorrow, to be a little bit more prepared for tomorrow, and build on that each every day. And that's something that I still use in my work life today, as well as whatever race I happen to be training for next. And one of the uh, more comedic memories I have is, is at the state championships one year at the hotel, sitting down to a plate full of biscuits and gravy and you kind of shaking your head at me. And then later after I finished the race, uh, having the, the best time I had that year for the, for the 500. So once again, congratulations on your retirement. Many happy years to you. And thank you for everything that you did for, for me and my classmates. All the best. Storm, Stacy Coates here. Just wanted to say thank you so much for being the best coach and athletic director at Heritage. You made our experiences more than memorable and so worthwhile. I'm not sure if I was supposed to take this apparel or not, but, you know, just had to do it. Thanks, Coach, and happy retirement. Hi, Coach. This is Chad Shorter from the class of 96. Uh, I wanted to wish you the best in your retirement. I'm uh, really excited for you for this new phase of your life. Uh, to give you a quick update on me, uh, after high school, I went to Brigham Young, uh, and partway through, I interrupted my studies to serve as a missionary for my church, and I was assigned to Italy. And when I came back to school after that, I majored in Italian because I wanted to become an Italian professor. So after undergrad, I came to UVA for my master's. Uh, while I was there, I met and married my wife, and we moved to Madison, Wisconsin to do the PhD program here, and we're still here, and that was 11 years ago. Um, so I, I did finish the PhD program in Italian uh, just last summer, but partway through, I had decided to, to change paths, and so I've been doing uh, educational technology and faculty development for the last five and a half years full time and just recently have switched to doing more evaluation um, because it makes so much sense that someone who wrote a dissertation on late 15th century Italian poetry is doing statistics now because <laughs> why not um, so I, I mentioned the wife and I got married a week before we moved here to Madison we now have three children that are uh, by the end of the summer will be nine seven and three and we've got another one coming in november uh i don't know if uh shannon and clay are, are making videos uh, we've talked about doing it but if not uh, shannon is in winchester with her family uh husband and three boys and clay is back in lynchburg with his wife and four kids um, and everyone seems to be doing well my parents too uh, i wanted to thank you for the the personal time that you gave me as a coach and as a teacher. Um, I don't think I scored more than a couple of points in my whole high school career in swimming, but you gave, you dedicated personal attention to me all the same for my own improvement. And I really appreciate that. Um, I, I was an average swimmer until I started working with you and I became the best of the average swimmers. <laughs> I joke that, you know, I, I would always go and, and, when do really well at the B meet and then make one A time and get blown out of the water at the A meet. So it's just the best of the average ones. But I appreciate the help that you gave me uh, for that. And most importantly, for my swimming career, my last swim in high school, I won. Uh, I didn't win the heat for the event, but 
I outtouched my little brother in a hundred breaststroke and he'll probably say something about how he just swam the 500 or something like that, but whatever, doesn't matter. I outtouched him. <laughs> um, so again, I just wanted to, to wish you the very best. Um, I appreciate everything you've done for me and that I know you've done for a lot of other people. Uh, I hope you enjoy your retirement, that you get to travel and enjoy spending time with your family. And again, just wish you the very best. Thanks coach. Hi coach, this is Sarah Wasco Eagle, class of 1995. I had the great privilege of swimming for you for five years and I wanted to take this chance to say thank you, not just for the lessons about swimming, but about life, dedication, perseverance, and most of all, how to be a good friend. The Heritage Athletics Program will miss you, but not near as much as we all do. Best of luck in your retirement. I hope that you enjoy the time off with your family. Love you, Coach. Yeah. Coach Storm, congratulations on your retirement. You survived all of our personalities during our teenage years. But seriously, thank you for everything uh, you've done for us over the years and the impact that you had on our lives, not only as teenagers, but as us as adults. There's many leadership traits that you've given us that we use as fathers and business leaders. And there's lessons that we'll take for many years to come. But congratulations on your retirement. I hope uh, you enjoyed your free time. And for some reason, if you start getting bored, I know there's a swim team out there that could use your help. Again, thank you for everything you've done for us over the years and uh, congratulations. Don't let your hand get in the Hey way. coach, it's all the Smith girls here. Of course, we all have different last names now. <laughs> However, we just really wanted to thank you for all your guidance and support and for teaching us how to swim. I am the only one that is still swimming on a regular basis, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> thank you, Coach Storm. Thank you, Coach Storm, for being an encouragement and a motivation and for being steady and always there. Yes. Thank you, Coach, for uh, teaching me how to swim and uh, making me swim all those cold, cold mornings. You taught me discipline, which I needed later in my life. So, good skill. Happy retirement! Happy yes. retirement! Go golfing! <laughs> Hey coach, Greg Middleton, class of 1996, just wanted to offer my congratulations on your retirement after a 43 year career in public education. Uh, in preparing for this video, I went and did the math and um, my journey with you began roughly, I'd say 25 years ago um, when Brian was first swimming for you and um, my parents dragged me to the winter sports banquet uh, at Heritage and I was told in no uncertain terms to sit down, uh, be quiet, and um, don't do anything stupid. And while I was there, all I can remember was looking up front and um, this man who looked like a Civil War general or at least a reenactor re with the, you know, the mustache, um, handing out awards and, and trophies and, and offering um, words of encouragement to all of his swimmers and telling them how proud he was uh, of them. And then I actually got to experience time with you as a swimmer and you as my coach beginning in the eighth grade uh, when I got to swim with the team. Didn't get to, to place or score, but I did get to train and compete and uh, got to do a lot of swim meets. My first experience that year was swim meets at Randolph-Macon Women's College. Uh, and then it went to my freshman year when uh, I actually did get to compete and got to place. And there was one swim meet when Brian had a conflict and could not attend. And so you put me in the 100 free instead of him. And the next day, Brian asked you how the meet went and how I did. And you flat out told him, you said, well, Brian, we don't need you to do the 100 anymore because your brother won it. And uh, I think you always enjoyed stoking the competitive uh, fire and flames between my brother and I. Um, and then another goal that I had that year, another memory I had from my freshman year is I always wanted to, to qualify for the state swim meet uh, in Oakmar that we always went to in January and that we always, uh, you always drove the, the white activity bus to. 
and I always wanted to qualify for it because I thought it'd be an, a great trip and I always wanted to ride up there with the upperclassmen. Uh, I did get to qualify and I do remember distinctly that year and every year after for every meal possible that we ate at Pizza Hut. And I think the only time we did not eat at Pizza Hut up there was when they were closed and we had to eat from the hotel or with whatever we brought with us. And each meal that we ate there for the, the times that we went up for the state meet, we had the exact same waiter there. And not only was it comical, but the thing that was hysterical to us was that his name tag said that his name was Fur. F-U-R. Fur. And we thought that was a little odd because a middle-aged, Middle Eastern man's name cannot possibly be Fur. So we finally broke down and asked him and found out his name wasn't Fur, it was Puri, P-U-R-I. But uh, due to one too many close encounters with the pizza oven, part of the P and all of the I had completely burned off of his name tag. And that also explained why the brim of his hat was at a 90 degree downward slope at all times as well. <laughs> One of the other memories I enjoyed from, um, from swimming and at States was uh, the last night of the meet, uh, in between prelims and finals, you always took all of us swimmers and consolidated us down into one hotel room uh, with two queen beds. And your rule every year was if you qualify for finals that night, you got to sleep or sit or relax on the bed or rest up. And I can remember, I don't know if it was my sophomore year or junior year, but I finally qualified to sit on the bed. And uh, I think it might have been the 200 free relay with John Howard, uh, Dave Davis, Jeff Hoffman and myself. Um, just a lot of, lot of great memories, a lot of great people um, experienced with you as uh, my swim coach. Um, you also were one of my first professional experiences um, uh, in the working world, whether you realize it or not. Um, my first job out of high school or during high school, I guess, ever was as a waiter at Westminster Canterbury uh, re Retirement Home. Uh, I was a server there for, uh, I believe, breakfast and lunch, um, maybe early dinners, I, I can't remember. But um, two people that I waited on and, uh, and met and got to know better um, were your parents and just really enjoyed meeting them, and, and they were great people. You also were my teacher. Uh, you were my AP American history teacher, and um, in class you always kept me straight. Um, you always kept me focused, and you kept me accountable for uh, the work that needed to be done uh, to be in your class. Um, even when you weren't my coach and when you weren't my teacher, um, you still were supportive and encouraging. I can uh, distinctly remember uh, one Friday night at City Stadium, I was not having a good uh, good night or good half kicking the ball, and I uh, was on the bench um, trying to collect myself and figure out what I needed to do better. Um, and you quietly walked up from the track and uh, just gave me a, a, a tip that uh, my plant foot wasn't set right. I needed to shift it or adjust it a couple of inches away from um, the tee and that that was all it took and I had a, a great night uh, kicking the ball the rest of the night. Uh, I believe we ended up uh, winning the game. And even after I wasn't in high school anymore, even after I moved away from Lynchburg, you were still supportive and encouraging um, just the same. Uh, you actually came down and attended my wedding you always asked about my parents and my brother to see how they were doing. Um, you asked for my parents' address uh, to send my dad a note of encouragement when he was battling cancer. You uh, offered your congratulations on the birth of my two children. And you also mailed me $20 to start a college fund for him, which, by the way, I'm going to need a little bit more because prices are pretty expensive with inflation. Um, just wanted to thank you, Coach, for... Um, always challenging me to be the best person that I can be and also never being satisfied for that. And again, I just want to thank you for that and congratulate you on your retirement. Uh, I hope you enjoy it with your wife, Donna, uh, your son, Josh, and your daughter-in-law, Hannah. All the best, Coach. Thanks again. Nineteen ninety two Western District Champions. Hard to believe it's gonna be twenty five years next year. Coach this is Paul Yaffe. Hope you remember me. I remember you of course. I uh, wanted to send you a video and congratulate you on your retirement. Uh well deserved. You're the hardest working man in Lynchburg. 
Um, want to say a story, I guess. Um, one of my fondest memories was when we won the Western District Champions. Um, I remember you coming up to me before the breaststroke and said, Paul, I know we're going to take first and second. If you can beat Neil Marks and come in third, we can clinch the Western District Champions without actually having to win the relay. Uh, we actually won the relay anyways, but uh, anyways, came in first, Nathan Toms, John Howard second, and I came in third, and we clinched the Western District Champions. And it was quite the celebration. But anyways, it's one of my fondest memories. Uh, always talk about it to this day. Um, appreciate you being such a wonderful coach. I really hope you enjoy your retirement. Congratulations. Coach Storm, Lugitz Jones, class of 2001. Congratulations on your retirement. You have had an incredible career and made a difference in thousands and thousands of people's lives, not only as an athletic director, as a teacher, and as a coach, but as a friend. I am so fortunate to have swam for you and to be able to have worked with you for a year learning the high school athletic world. Not only that, but without question, you are one of the most influential people in my life. And I can't say thank you enough to you and your family, Donna and Josh. Congratulations again and well wishes.